What's going on everyone? Today we're gonna to be talking about brand management for small business owners. Here's a sneak peek of what you're gonna learn in this video. Uh, we're gonna breeze past through this. What is branding? Giving you a really simple definition to take home with you. Why is it important? How to actually create your brand image and keep it consistent across all the platforms. Then we're gonna talk about content. Look, content is branding, branding is content they really work with each other so you need a good strategy and you need some planning to really create an effective brand image next where are you going to post all this content so the importance of social media marketing when it comes to branding what channels the best to use uh, should you start this channel should you start that channel all the questions are going to be answered through there and lastly, should you run advertising campaigns as a small business? This could be a big question mark for small businesses, especially with small budgets. And if you're just starting out, is it really worth it to run advertising to start building up that brand? And actually the last point here, I am gonna keep hidden, but if you stick to the end of the video, it's gonna be well worth your time. Uh, I'm gonna uncover it for you there, so stick to the end. All right, so really basic stuff here. What is branding? Let's uncover this. It's how the public perceives you. So what, is the, what does the public think of you when they see your brand? Ideally, you want to connect a short phrase, short few words with your brand, okay? So, you know, my brand might be the crazy hair website guy, okay? That's him, you know? something really short to the point that that people will remember you by so why is branding important we're already kind of touching on this here but it builds loyalty it builds trust and if you've sold anything to anyone before you know that selling to a person or business who knows nothing about you is definitely much much harder than it is to sell to someone who knows about you knows your values knows your brand has been exposed to your content before. Um, so it builds that credibility, it builds that trust, and you're building a relationship between a customer, which makes it much easier to sell them in the future or uh, allow them to trust you enough to take that first step with you and close them on a sale. Number two, why building loyalty is important is that your customers may become your dedicated salespeople, okay? They they could be operating with such conviction that your product, your service is the best go-to uh, product or service that they might be spreading your message to their friends, their family, other people in their space because of how loyal they have become to uh, thanks to your branding, right? So look, number two, the marketplace is crowded, okay? I mean, everywhere you go, there's like eight different types of beans in a grocery store. Um, you know, there's 12 different agencies for that, for this. It's, you gotta stand out. And to drive this point home, I'm gonna show you this image here. What is your mind thinking of right now? You see the red, you see that dark, fizzling, carbonated drink, you see the cold, ice in the glass, you're probably thinking of Coke. You haven't even seen the bottle, you haven't even seen the logo, but that color, most importantly, really just, after all those cans, after all those commercials, ads you've seen, uh, you, you're going past the supermarket section of the soda, you recognize that as Coca-Cola. That is the power of branding, okay? And number three, having a good mission statement that people can get behind, okay? So you don't, you know, say you're running an e-commerce store or something, like you don't just wanna be the next clothing store, okay? You wanna get people to get behind your mission. So I actually heard an ad on Spotify not too long ago about a clothing company who, if you buy a uh, article of clothing from them, they send an identical one to a homeless shelter, right? And that's great. I mean, that's, you know, you're, you're not just buying an article of clothing anymore. You are 
actually you can feel good about yourself because you know that you've donated a portion of you've donated an extra article of clothing to a person in need and you know having a great mission statement can really start attracting that uh, audience and really building that loyalty okay so next creating your brand image how do you actually do that all right so number one having a good website with a good user experience i cannot emphasize this enough a website is often the first place that a customer will come in con contact with your business or products or services so having a clean design easily navigatable uh it's it's really crucial and especially on mobile version okay um most people will be viewing your content or website from the mobile so you really need to optimize for that device especially next having a good logo mostly the color scheme of the logo and you want to keep it consistent across the website so here's actually uh so i'm in the mobile view using a desktop on a website that we actually recently made for a pest control company right so you see the look oh, sorry you cannot see the logo yet okay there it is so you see the logo and you know you see the orange clean animation text orange button orange background orange um, and let me just scroll up here there's a big bold button there get a quote uh, again picture of the guy in uh, orange suit it's just you know you need to use the mainly the colors of the logo throughout the website right and again just having a really good looking design simple easily skimmable and you'll be good to go next digital content so having digital content in the form of instagram posts twitter posts facebook posts TikTok, youtube you want to maintain that color scheme so uh, unfortunately we haven't started the process of creating social media for that website but you know we will be very well using those bold oranges uh, possibly some blues in there to really catch the eye and keep it consistent keep the fonts consistent across the uh, across basically your entire digital landscape right next really crucial for small business owners reviews and especially google my business okay there's a crazy stat somewhere it says it's uh it's about 86 percent of people will read reviews before they buy something product or service um, this is especially true for service-based businesses you know when someone types in for example pest control company near me you know they will definitely be searching for those reviews digging them out i probably digging out for the one star two star uh and probably just skimming over the great reviews right but yeah so and if you don't know what google my business is simple tool that google offers for you to promote your business for free it gives you a like a, almost a snippet or a knowledge panel they call it of your business and with some quick facts about it when someone types in uh, your name so it's really accessible so I highly highly recommend maintaining your reviews not just across Google my business but across the trust pilots next doors um, all those third-party Yelp all those third-party websites and so we've been primarily talking about creating that brand image across the digital landscape but maybe you are an e-commerce store selling physical products okay so getting that product packaging and the labeling all um you know aligning with your website first then the product packaging and the boxing of it uh mainly the color scheme to really like just like coke does you know just keep reminding the person that this color is meant with this business okay all right now all about content so let's uncover this who are you creating the content for 
All right, so who is the audience? Who is the target market? If you're in the B2B, which means business to business, you might be more uh, posting for, or posting on platforms like LinkedIn possibly, or posting uh, different forms of content. Maybe this, maybe businesses just want to uh, read instead of consume videos, uh, business to consumer, maybe they want fast pace, really fast cuts with um, their content. So you really got to dig down and ask yourself, who are you actually creating this content for, right? But more importantly, how are you providing value? Now value doesn't have to be I'm the expert, this is what you have to do, follow my lead or you will not succeed and whatever, right? Value, providing value could just be entertaining as well. You know, there is so many forms of providing that value that you can do as a brand. Um, and we're gonna be going over that really quickly here. So, you know, what kind of content are you creating? We've kind of hit upon this, all right? This is going back to knowing that target art market. Um, so here's the planning phase, the different types of posts that you could utilize. All right, so videos, ideally videos are the way to go. Um, it's not just me seeing this, you know, there is a major shift to how people are consuming content. You know, there's less and less people that really want to just glot, you know, skim through a chunks and chunks and chunks of content, written content in the form of blogs. But don't be fooled, they are still really key to creating that overall brand image, but videos really come out on top here. So you gotta implement some sort of uh, video or even below here, an image strategy to really represent uh, your brand visually, okay? And where will you be posting this content, okay? Uh, well, real quick, so content can be, as I said, entertaining. Uh, you can create evergreen content, so that's really seeking out what questions the people are in your niche are asking for and creating a post, answering that question directly. Maybe it's just a fun fact on here's what, here's the 10 tips on how to clear your house of, or ensure that your house doesn't attract ants in the, in the example for the pest control company I showed you earlier. Um, and you know, it, it, there's so many forms of content. I can go in depth, uh, whenever you guys need, just leave a comment down below if you want me to do that. Uh, so where are you going to be posting all this content? All right. So social media marketing still ideally the best place other than Google SEO and website design stuff. Social media is the place to start building that brand. Um, and let's uncover this. So having good photos, videos, content, eye-catching, engaging, you have to really hit upon that. You know, attention is getting really hard to uh, capture, okay? There's a lot of competitors and you gotta make sure that your content is useful and is visually appealing. So. This might bring us to, should you hire a graphic designer slash a video editor maybe? Again, if you're just starting out, probably not the best use of your money, but later on to really get that brand image going, um, it could be a worthy investment to keep that uh, across all platforms. Uh, influencer marketing, big, big one coming up you know, maybe you're shy or maybe no one from your company wants to be on camera or write blogs or uh, take pictures, right? You can leverage a loyal fan base that has been created by an influencer on these various platforms and pay them a small fee or work some kind of deal with them to for them to actively promote your product or service to their followers. And since they, they've they already done the hard work of building that loyal brand, building those loyal followers, so they will more 
they will have a higher chance of converting when this person will say, hey, buy this product or service versus you posting out a post to, you know, blasting out a post to a cold audience and uh, trying to convert them through there. So almost last one here, should you run advertising campaigns? Okay. So two biggest takeaways here is if someone lands on your website, you want to ideally remarket them. Okay. So now before you even start posting ads to cold audiences, you want to create, if you're going to spend money on ads, which is wise in the long run, you want to create ads that follow people around the internet almost. Okay. So once they interact with you, then you start remarketing them with ads instead of just blasting uh, cold ads to a cold audience. And you can do that ideally through uh, Google and YouTube do it are the best. Um, you know, a lot of people are using those. And you might actually you might have actually come across that you visit a website, then you go read an article of some sort or watch a video. And you're seeing that you're seeing their ad or a piece of content from their website or from their YouTube channel pop up and you know wave for your attention you know click me click me and since you've already come across that brand before you tend to have a higher chance of clicking on that uh, ad right so it could be really good when starting out but mostly when uh, someone already makes contact with your website through these strategies that we've mentioned above um, bidding on your own name is also could be uh, beneficial um, to really take up just more of that real estate within search engines so if you are going to do that I'd stick to the major search engine type uh, platforms like Google and YouTube and lastly <clears throat> should you hire a branding agency to do this work okay so look a branding agency like my own fastwebgrowth.com can really shortcut your meth all right so look hiring a branding agency like actually my own fastwebgrowth.com can really shortcut the time and the results you will see with a branding strategy you know, you might be asking yourself, should I start a TikTok account? Should I start an Instagram account? What's the best platform to post on? Listen, this can be very time consuming and hard to figure out, right? So what we or what an agency could do, also we could create a unique plan tailored to you, find where your target market is hanging out at, where are they answering, asking questions at, and launch a really targeted branding strategy that will span across exactly where your target audience is hanging out. Um, so, you know, if you ever want help with branding your agency using an agency, uh, feel free to reach out. And if you've learned anything in this video, please drop a like and subscribe. This has been Alex, the website guy. I will talk to you soon. Thanks.